Welcome to Art Inspired Yoga with Rise and Shine and the Barry Art Museum. My name's Leah of Rise and Shine. This flow, we're highlighting Jules Olivsky's painting, Embraced, Yellow and Pink. Russian-born American abstract painter Jules Olivsky uses intense chromatic zones with cracked surfaces and harsh contrasts on dark ground. Olivsky worked on Bear Island in New Hampshire. The surrounding landscape's rocky shore and Burton Forest served as inspiration for this painting's intentional roughness and contrast of bright golds with deep blacks, blues, and swirling pink. If you're interested in programming such as this, look into becoming a member of the Barry Art Museum. We'd love to have you. Welcome to the yoga portion of Art Inspired Yoga. Embrace Yellow and Pink is right here behind me on the wall. Come in to see this piece sometime in person. Have a seat on your mat now. Get comfortable. Keep your blocks close by. If you, do, if you don't have blocks, no problem. Go ahead and use pillows or books even. Those work just fine. So rooted through our sits bones while simultaneously stretching up through the crown of our head. Sit up tall. Let your palms face upward to the sky. And breathe in and breathe out. Keeping in tune with our painting, Embrace Yellow and Pink, today's flow will really be about being gentle with ourselves and lovingly, kindly moving our body rather than forcing any poses. Come back to your breath and exhale. Inhale, arms overhead and exhale, your hands to heart center. Keep your chin down, look all the way up, really feeling how your muscles in your neck feel. Oftentimes our necks and neck and shoulders are really sore and tight with stress. So take some time to feel the articulation of these places and see if you can send more oxygen or loosening to those areas. Release your hands now. Let's go into some seated cat cows. Inhale for cow, shining your heart forward. Exhale, cat, round your upper back, tuck your chin to your chest. Go through your own cat cows on your own pace, making sure to connect your breath to movement. Go ahead now and circle one side to the other, all while still remaining rooted through your sits bones. You can make the circles as big as you like or as small. Be sure to go the opposite direction for balance and come back to center. Ah, place one heart on your heart, one hand on your belly. Check in with yourself. Do a light body scan. See what areas you can release more from, what areas you can breathe more into. Ah. Throughout this entire practice, be sure to listen to what your body is telling you, whatever thoughts come up, Acknowledge them and can always let them go. All right, wiggle your toes a bit. Let's have your hands come out front and we're just gonna warm up our wrists, some wrist circles, some painting up and down. Be sure to go the opposite direction for balance. Our wrists are often overlooked and with as, as much technology usage as we do nowadays, it's good to send them some love too. Go ahead and interlace your hands, bring them above. As we have our arms overhead, make sure you're still shining your chest forward, shoulders are back, thinking nice, tall, expansive. Exhale, let your hands come down. Plant your right hand now on your mat. You can bend into it, see how that feels. If you wanna use a block to help bring the floor up closer to you, feel free to do so. Inhale your left arm up and over, having a nice stretch through our side body. Again, we tend to sort of cave in, so do your best to shine your, your heart forward, shoulders are back, nice broadened collarbones here. Play with this, see where you get the optimum stretch, and release, come out. Walk your hands to the front now. We're going to just reach out in front. It's cool if you're, you know, up there and not really having your forehead to the ground. Don't think so much about how far you can go, but go to where you feel that nice stretch. Keep breathing here. Walk your hands in closer to your body. Push back up. Nice. 
Now plant your left hand down, inhale your right hand up and reach over. Same as the other side. See what feels best. Keep broadened through the collarbones, really focusing on that nice side stretch here. Feel free to look down at your hand on the mat or up, your choice. Exhale, come back up tall and release. All right, so for our front stretch here, you wanna cross over your foot. So whatever foot was in the back, cross that to the front. Walk your hands out and yearn your chest towards the floor. You can also use your blocks here if you wanna bring the ground up closer to you. Keep breathing. Walk your hands in close to your body now and sit back up nice and tall. Close your knees like a book and literally just hug yourself here. Bring your knees in as close to your chest as you can. Tuck your chin into your chest. Make a tight little ball, a little self-embrace and open up. All right, our soles of our feet are gonna come to touch. We're still sitting up nice and tall for a butterfly stretch. Since this flow is all about gentility and being kind to ourselves, we can give ourselves a little foot massage here. Again, just like our wrists, our feet are overlooked but are such an integral part of our body who they literally bring us through our day. Play with this butterfly stretch. Close your knees now. I'll turn to the side so you can see how we look in Paschimottanasana. You can use a block here. You can sit on the block if that feels better for you. And your feet are elongated. Keep a slight bend in your knees and fold over. You can straighten out your legs once that feels better for you. See what feels best for you and hold. You can use your hands as well to help support you. Again, if you start to feel pain in your lower back, that's a good indicator that you may want to bend your knees. This class is entirely about being gentle with ourselves, so no need to force any poses just yet or ever. We're going to go ahead, come on up. Stand up nice and tall. Securely root yourself through your left foot. Lift your right knee up. Let's have some ankle circles now. Kicking back and forth. Painting, our, painting with our toes. Again, just really waking up our foot here. Same thing other side. For balance, you're always welcome to go to a wall or use a chair for a prop. I find I keep my balance better when my hands are at my heart center. Some people prefer their hips, some people prefer using props. So whatever works best for you. With that, go ahead now to the traditional front of your mat, the top of your mat, standing nice and tall and strong in traditional mountain pose, rooted through our feet, shoulders relaxed down, fingertips facing the ground. Stand up nice and tall, breathe in and release. Inhale now, arms come overhead, extended mountain pose. Pretend you're holding a ball here. Grab onto your left wrist now and bend over to your right side, basically doing the standing version of our side stretch. Release here, hold onto that ball again and cut through your midline. Exhale to forward fold. Keep a slight bend in your knees if you like and rock side to side as if you're painting rainbows on the mat. Let your head hang heavy. Let your knees bend. Keep breathing through this whole time. Come back to stillness. Inhale, halfway lift, keeping a nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, root to rise, extended mountain pose. Look upwards and look ahead. Relax your shoulder blades down. Let your left hand grab your right wrist now and gently reach over to your side, feeling a nice stretch along your right side body. Release that grab and exhale forward fold. Heel toe your feet a little wider than hip width distance. Grab opposite elbow and ragdoll here. I like to keep a really deep bend in my knees here. It's a really nice release on my lower back. I let my head hang heavy and just enjoy this rocking motion. 
Release your arms now. Bring your feet back to shoulder width apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, extended mountain pose. Bring your hands to heart center. And let's go again. Inhale, arms overhead, extended mountain pose. Reach over to the right side now, this time pretending to still hold the ball of energy or just a beach ball in your hands. Come back upright. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Arms come overhead. Hold on to that ball. Pretend, imagine your shoulder blades are relaxed down in their sockets. Using your core, lean over to the left. We had a nice side stretch here, and now we're really letting our obliques and our core support us as we reach over. Nice. Inhale, back up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Let your neck go, nodding yes, shaking no. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend your knees slightly. Let your arms come back like an airplane or a cape. Arms come out to your side now. Focusing here on our upper back. We're still staying so stable through our legs and our feet and letting our upper back get a little bit of work in. Release down. Inhale up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Shake it out. <laughs> Inhale, arms overhead, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step one foot back, then the other to high plank. Feel free to bring your knees down. Keep your elbows in close to your body as you gently and with control lower your chest down to the mat. Nice, get settled onto the mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Push through your fronts of your feet, lifting your chest off the ground to low cobra and release down. Big toes come together, push down through, through the tops of your feet. And inhale, lift up. Your hands are slightly hovering over the mat, really engaging your glutes and your back muscles to lift your chest off the ground. Let's do low cobra one more time. Inhale, lift your chest off the ground. So strong, so good, and release back down to the mat. Push yourself back up to tabletop. Wrists stacked under our shoulders, knees under our hips. There you go. Inhale here to cow, exhale to cat. Doing our traditional cat cows here. Ensuring our spine is nice and awake, nice and limber. Good, tuck your toes under, lift your knees off the ground and shoot your hips back up for our first down dog of class. With a down dog, you can play around with this you might have to walk your hands out further, maybe move your feet back to find the right length between your hands and feet. Bend your knees, bring your heels down to the mat. Play around, see what feels best for you. Wave up from down dog to plank. That's how you know the position is right, that you're able to move from downward dog to plank without having to move. Inhale your right knee here. And right knee to nose, step your right foot through. Low runner's lunge, lower your left knee, untuck your left toes. Feel that nice stretch in your left hip opener here. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Arms come overhead, core is still engaged. Exhale, plant your palms. Tuck your toes, lift your left knee, step your right foot back to high plank. Shift your hips up to downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to nose, step your left foot through. Lower your right knee to the ground, untuck your right toes. Inhale, low crescent lunge, left knee in front. Plant your palms, tuck your right toes under, step back to high plank, then downward dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Small steps now for your feet to meet your hands in front. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. 
extended mountain pose. Look upwards. Nice. Hands at heart center now. All right. Adjust yourself if need be. Inhale, arms overhead. Hands extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to plank. Shift up to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up, three-legged dog. See if you can get your leg a little higher. Exhale, right knee to nose. Step your right foot through. Lower your left knee down. Untuck your left toes. Inhale, low crescent lunge with a heart opener. Cactus your arms, lift your heart up to the ceiling. And rest your palms down at the mat. Good. Plant your left hand now and let your right hand open up behind you, like you're saying hi to someone. As you do this, do your best to keep your chest as open as possible to the side wall. Your right knee may want to bend open a little bit, and that's fine as long as your knee and ankle are still stacked under each other. Tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee. Shift from plank to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes up, three-legged like dog. Lift a little higher this time around. Good. Exhale, left knee to nose. Step your left foot through. Lower your right knee down. Untuck your right toes. Inhale, arms up, low crescent lunge with the cactus arms. As you're looking upward, imagine your chest is lifting up and shooting outward. Nice heart opener here. Plant your palms. And now let your right hand be your base as your left hand opens up to the side and back as if you're shaking someone's hand behind you. Same thing, your left knee may want to open up a bit and that's okay as long as the knee and ankle are still aligned with each other. Bring your left arm back, frame your foot, step back now to high plank, and down dog. Nice job, everyone. Wave forward to high plank. Lower down now with control. Always you can bring your knees down if you like. Big toes come to touch. Lift up to that low cobra again. Or if you prefer, keep your forearms down and we have sphinx. Both low cobra and sphinx pose here are both great heart openers. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, push back up. Come into our first child's pose of class. Bring your hands to touch and shark fin. Basically, let your hands come over and give yourself a little massage in your upper back. Release your hands back to the mat. Enjoy this restorative child's pose here. Bring your hands closer to you now. Push back up. Give yourself space. Go back to tabletop. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips up for a downward dog. Inhale. Right leg comes up again. Three-legged dog. Lift as high as you can. Open your hips this time. Point your toes. Nice. Feeling that nice opening in our hips. And we're also almost peeking our chest open. So both a hip and a heart opener at the same time. Now exhale, right knee to nose. Step your right foot through. Lower your left knee down. Untuck your left toes. Low crescent lunge. Cactus your arms. Lift your chest up. Exhale, plant your palms here. Inhale, right arm comes behind. Shaking an imaginary hand. Keeping our chest nice and lifted and open. The slight twist. Nice. Bring your right arm back. Feel free to grab your blocks if you like. Shift back to half split. If you don't have blocks, you can do this with your palms down or you can do this with your on your fingertips, so your fingers tented. Do your best to bring your chest towards your shin and keep your right foot flexed at all times. You can always keep a slight bend in your right knee. Good. Rebend into your right foot, tuck your left toes under, step back to high plank, shift up to downward facing dog. Beautiful, you all. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Nice. Inhale here, left leg comes up, three-legged dog as high as you got. Good. Now stack your hips, point your toe, open your hip and your chest out to the side wall. Enjoying that open feeling and that expanse. Flex your foot again, re-square your hips. Exhale your left knee to nose. Step your left foot through. 
Lower your right knee to the ground. Lift up, low crescent lunge. Cactus arms here, feeling that nice opening in your chest. Plant your palms. Left hand comes back. Gentle twist to the left side. Right arm is our nice base here. Good. Exhale, frame your left foot again with your hands. Shift back to half split. Our left toes are flexed towards our face. Option to use your blocks as always. Play with this. See how this feels, really focusing on your back hamstring. Focusing on your hamstring, getting a lot of flexibility in here. Inhale, rebend carefully to your left knee. Tuck your right toes under. Step back to high plank. Shift your hips up to downward dog. Good. Collect yourself here. You might want to move your neck around a little bit with this down dog. Wave forward to high plank. Lower your knees down. Untuck your toes and lower yourself down now. Keeping your hands close to your shoulders, lift up for low cobra. Plant your forearms to sphinx. We're doing a lot of hip and heart openers this class. Exhale, lower down. Walk your hands in closer to midline and go ahead and get push up to upward facing dog. That's our third heart opener here. Your options are low cobra, sphinx, or upward facing dog. We'll meet in downward facing dog when you're ready. Take a few breaths here. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and go to the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Paint those rainbows again, letting yourself hang loose. Enjoy this movement. See how it feels in your body. Come back to stillness now. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Bend your knees really deep. Inhale, root to rise, arms overhead. And bring your hands to heart center. Feel free to use a block for this. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can better see. We're gonna use the wide side of our mat now. Inhale, star pose. Hands come on your hips now. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. You can use your hands to support you or you can lower onto your fists or forearms even. Play around with this wide-legged forward fold. Plant your left hand here. Let your right arm come up. You feel free to keep a bend in your left knee here or use a block. Sometimes these twists, as rinsing as they may feel, they can also be a little difficult for our flexibility. So feel free to bend in the knees or use a block. Release and come back to center. Play around with this wide-legged forward fold, see how you feel, bending your knees, bending from side to side, really just playing around with this pose. Eventually, you're gonna wanna either use your block or plant your left hand and brush your right arm up. You can keep a bend in one knee as you twist, see whatever feels best for your body. Keep breathing, good. Exhale, release back down to center. Staying in that wide-legged forward fold. See if you can rest your head on the mat. If not, no worries. You're gonna heel toe your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, coming down into a yogi squat. All right, so with the yogi squat, this works on a lot, including our ankle flexibility, but also we want to have our heart be open. So use your elbows to help push your thighs away feeling a deeper stretch in your legs, but also strive to keep your chest open. You can sit on the block for extra support. Good, exhale, release out of that squat, standing up nice and tall in that forward fold. Good, heel toe your feet out again wide, walk your hands to the back of your mat, which is now our front. <laughs> Right leg in front, lower your left knee down. Inhale, arms overhead, low crescent lunge. Cactus your arms. Good, plant your palms again. Now you're gonna have both your arms on the inside of your right foot. Heel toe your right foot to the edge of your mat, sitting here in lizard pose. 
you can lower it down to your forearms. We spent this entire practice opening up our hips where it said we store our emotions. So you may be able to come down to the floor. Good. Heel toe back to center. Release your right foot back. Now bring your left foot in front. So going right into lizard on the left side. Play around with this, see what feels best for you. Each side is different. So sometimes one side is more flexible than the other. Same thing with this lizard pose. If your foot wants to open up or your knee wants to open up, as long as the ankle and knee are stacked, that's safe. Shimmy your foot back to center and come back to tabletop. Take a wide-legged child's pose here. Shark fin your arms again. Let them rest behind your head and straighten out. Push up through your palms now, coming back to tabletop. Good. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg comes up. Open your hip now so you're stacking your, your hips here opening to the side, straighten your right leg now, exhale right knee to nose, step your right foot through, lower your left knee here, untuck your left toe. Now go back to shaking that person's hand behind you and if you can, see if you can grab your toe. It may not be available to you today like for me, I feel very, um, very tight, but you can always try you can also use a strap to reach your back foot. It's a great, really good hip opener. Tuck your back toes now, lift up to high crescent lunge, cactus your arms, plant your palms, and instead of stepping back, we're gonna walk our hands to the other side of our mat now. So the back of the mat is now the front, our left knee is now in front. Untuck your right toes, lower your right knee, low crescent lunge on the left side, Good. Now here, plant your right palm or your left palm, twist your right hand back, see if you can reach your foot here. If not, no worries. Every day is a different feeling in our body. If you didn't get it today, chances are you'll get it tomorrow. Tuck your right toes under, lift up to high crescent lunge now. So strong. Plant your palms, lower your right knee down, and let your left foot and left knee come join your right. Come back to wide-legged child's pose. Shark fin your arms one more time. Feel free to give yourself a massage if that feels best for you. Extend your arms out in front. Enjoy this child's pose here. Hmm. Let your arms come back. Gently push up and sit up nice and tall, just like we did in the beginning. <laughs> Walking upwards to give yourself space and with control, lower onto your back. Good. Walk your feet in closer to you. Getting ready for bridge pose. Pretend like you're holding a, a block in between your legs. Inner thighs are engaged. You can interlace your hands underneath. As you lift up, push through your heels, lift your glutes off the mat, keep your eyes on your belly button, and keep breathing. Good. Slowly release with control. Tee out your arms now, knees come into your chest. Exhale, twist over to the left side, making sure your right shoulder stays on the ground. You can look over your right shoulder or up at the ceiling. Inhale here, bring your knees back to center, rock a little side to side to massage your back, and exhale, lower both knees over to your right side now. So left shoulder stays glued to the mat. Hmm. Keep breathing. Inhale, both knees back to center. Straighten your legs here now, and then reach for the soles of your feet or your hamstrings and go into happy baby. Gently rocking side to side with happy baby. Come up now, give yourself one last embrace, almost like a cannonball. And 
exhale, elongate out to Shavasana. In Shavasana, let whatever thoughts come, come and let them go. Focus on your breathing or focus on nothing at all. Feel free to stay here as long as your schedule allows, ideally for at least three to five minutes. Enjoy this last pose of our flow. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate each and every single one of you. Take care.